is Cassidy Pope here. So you're on your first solo tour? Yes. I want to hear your description of your first time ever going out there without your regular band backing you, without Hey Monday, because now you're it stripped was, by yourself. Yeah, it was pretty different, and um, I was very, very nervous before the show. It was actually in Anaheim, and um, I walked out on stage, and I just got such an amazing reaction and mm -hmm. such an amazing feeling just being up there after not being on tour for so long that I just completely forgot about the band or what, who was behind me or who I was on stage with and I just focused on the music and singing and it was one of the most just fulfilling experiences because it's been it was so long before I was on stage it's like a long period of time and then I also got to play my new songs which were very well received and the past few shows people have been like learning the lyrics because mm -hmm. of the YouTube videos and everything so it's just been awesome, and I'm I'm not really focusing on what's different about it. I just I love being on tour and playing shows, so it's just been awesome. I've read in quite a few interviews that you've done since your decision to go solo yeah. about the change in your direction. You want to be more pop. Ooh, my noise. You want to be more <laughs> pop oriented. Yes. When did you actually decide about that? Was it still while you were with Hey Monday? Um, as far as the direction. Yeah. Um, well, not really. I just. I decided I was going solo, and then I was just thinking about well, what kind of artist am I? What do I love? And I love pop. I love pop rock and the mixture of it. I love 90s music and, and the organic vibe from it. And I just, that's the direction I always loved. And, you know, I know I have to stay true to myself, especially now since I'm going solo. So I was just thinking to myself what I want. And I also really want to be on the radio and, and you know, blow up so I just figured what better way than to stay true to myself but to also put a pop twist on it so it's more radio friendly. <laughs> now you did a cover of Torn. Yes. Which I have to say I absolutely love. Oh thank you. Um, so why did you pick that song? And it's not a song that really people your age would know now. Right. It's been what 17 years since that song was a yeah. huge hit for Natalie and Berglia. Right, right. Two more years before that. I mean, I have the original recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I saw Edna Swap in concert. Oh, uh, cool. So I knew that awesome. was actually an Edna Swap song before it was Natalie and Berglia. Yeah, definitely. So why that song? Um, I just, I love the song in general, and I wanted to choose something that had a lot of emotion and feeling, mm. and just something that I could release that would showcase my voice. And I feel like that song has so much room for messing with it and mm -hmm. I just I did a lot of different stuff with it um and I also wanted to make sure that it wasn't too overdone I didn't want to do a whole production I just wanted to be really stripped down and intimate um mm -hmm. and I knew the fans would know it but I figured it's familiar enough to where they know it was a song and mm -hmm. it was like it is a song and it was really big but they would also be intrigued by it and want to learn it and want to you know go back and listen mm -hmm. to the original version and and everything so and I also the demographic that I want is is more of a broad uh, expansion of what we have now or what Hey Monday had it's just it's all really young kids and, and I want to expand that to more of a, an older audience mm -hmm. as well um, so I thought that song might capture that mm -hmm. crowd as well no, I, I seriously when I first heard it I was like whoa because yeah. with your voice and the way you did that so stripped down Thank it's so you. emotional much more than it was before yeah, that's what I I know it's such a it's such a deep song and it's almost mm -hmm. it's pretty dark and I feel like you know I love Nelly and Brulia's version and I, I just I love the song but I felt like that kind of got the point across a little better because it's it's just more about the the lyrics and mm -hmm. it's more you know the vocals are more upfront but yeah thank you you're very welcome now I had read that you were writing with different people yes so who have you written with. Um, I've done some writing with actually my friends in Yellow Card. Did a song with them, and then um, I've written a lot with this woman, Liz Rose. She did a lot for Taylor Swift when oh, she was first starting, and um, and I I believe her new stuff as well. But she was awesome. Mm -hmm. She, her, and this girl Emily Shackleton. They they're both out of well, actually Emily's out of Nashville and Liz is out of Dallas. But I just took a trip to Dallas one time, and I was there for about like. Uh, four days and we wrote six songs in four days we stayed at Liz's house and just was we were at the piano one day and just acoustic the other day and it's just it was a really fun environment and then I've done some stuff with um, my roommate actually her name's Allie Tamposi and she's she's got the new um, 
Kelly Clarkson single, so she's she's doing really well. Um, I've written with my friends in this band, Runner Runner. Mm -hmm. um, done some stuff with, oh man, I'm trying to remember. That's I cool, mean, it's branching out within, yes, within some bands that were within with some your bands. own genre to start with. Yeah. That you're com more comfortable with. Exactly, And yeah. then with people that you really didn't know at all. Yeah. That takes you out of your comfort zone. It does. But it sounds like you're clicking with them and it's working. Yeah, it's clicking and a lot of the stuff that I actually haven't really had time to do before I left for tour, so mm -hmm. it was such a quick thing. I decided I was going solo and then I was like, okay, I want to go on tour. And I had these songs that I had written before um, and Hey Monday was still together, but I wrote them just because I love to write, and um, they just so happen to fall right into that genre that I want want to do. Mm -hmm. So um, those songs were written before this tour even started, and now when I get back to LA, I have a lot of sessions lined up. So I'm gonna go in and write some more and get some really great sounding demos together. Very cool. Yeah. Now a question just to find out a little bit about you. Okay. So I want you to pick three songs by other artists that would make up the soundtrack of your life. Ooh. Soundtrack of my life. Okay. Um, I would choose Hopelessly Devoted to You by Olivia Newton John from Greece. But I just think that that explains my passion for. I mean, I love to love and I, I love singing, and it's just, it's a very emotional song about just being just out of your mind and pretty, kind of unstable. But, um, just always having this, an extreme love for whatever you attach yourself to. Um, uh, More Than a Feeling by Boston. A lot, I just love that song and I think it's really, it's catchy and upbeat and I'm a very like, happy person so I think that that kind of goes along with that. And one last one. I can't, I'm just picking my favorite songs. Uh, Only One by Yellow Cards is my favorite song ever and I just it's, uh, it hit, hits home for me. It's pretty epic, and I just I love everything about it. So, yeah. You guys doing an interview? Yeah. Cool. I'll be in line. Wait, what? Are you guys doing an interview? Yes. I'll be in line. I want to. Oh, okay. Hey. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Right. <laughs> hey. Sorry about that. That's okay. He's funny. Yeah. So I'll ask one last question. I have two, but we'll do one. So it's the future. You open up the rock and roll encyclopedia. What do you want to read under your name? How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered for having having songs that truly connect with everyone. And also I want to be known for being a good singer. Like I just, one of my top priorities in life is to be remembered for having a good voice. And I really try my hardest to make it better every day. And I, and I really take a lot of pride in how much I take care of my voice and how much I care about it. So, you know, definitely, like known for having a good voice.